Hello everyone, I'm Mish and welcome to Validpedia. In the run-up to the November 5th, 2024 general election, Validpedia brings you our hallmark nonpartisan objective information on noteworthy elections and ballot measures. In this video, we'll discuss South Dakota Constitutional Amendment G, the Right to Abortion Initiative, an initiated constitutional amendment that South Dakota voters will decide on November 5th. A yes vote on Amendment G supports providing for a state constitutional right to abortion in South Dakota using a trimester framework for regulation. During the first trimester, the state would be prohibited from regulating a woman's decision to have an abortion. During the second trimester, the state may regulate abortion, but only in ways that are reasonably related to the physical health of the pregnant woman. And during the third trimester, the state may regulate or prohibit abortion except when abortion is necessary in the medical judgment of the woman's physician to preserve the life and health of the pregnant woman. A no vote opposes this amendment. Let's take a look at the current status of abortion in South Dakota. In South Dakota, abortion is banned except to save the life of the mother. In 2005, South Dakota passed a law banning abortion except to save the life of the mother. However, the law did not go into effect until the U.S. Supreme Court issued Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization overturning Roe v. Wade. In 2023, South Dakota enacted a law that provided that the woman who receives an unlawful abortion is not criminally liable. South Dakota mandates a 72-hour waiting period and counseling before abortion is performed. The state also requires that a parent or a legal guardian of a minor must be notified 48 hours before a minor's abortion or that a judge must approve a petition for the minor to have an abortion without parental notification. South Dakota also prohibits public funding for abortion. The Codens for Health is leading the campaign in support of the initiative. Other supporters include Doctors for Freedom and Freedom Amendment Coalition Life Defense Fund. Vote No in November and Students for Life in America are the campaigns opposing the initiative. Campaign finance reports through May 2024 show us that Amendment G supporters, those in favor of a state constitutional right to abortion in South Dakota, have raised over $349,000, and Amendment G opponents have raised over $366,000. As of October 9, 2024, 11 statewide ballot measures related to abortion have been certified in Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Maryland, Missouri, Montana, Nevada, New York, Nebraska, and South Dakota for the general election ballot in 2024. This is the most on record for a single year. Keep an eye out for our videos about the measures in each state. Since 2022, when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, seven states have had ballot measures addressing abortion. Four measures in Vermont, Michigan, and California in 2022 and Ohio in 2023 were sponsored by campaigns that described themselves as pro-choice and created state constitutional rights to abortion. All four measures were approved. Three measures in Kansas, Kentucky, and Montana were sponsored by campaigns describing themselves as pro-life and were designed explicitly to explicitly provide that there is no right to abortion in the state constitution. All three were defeated. For more information about South Dakota Amendment G, including its full text, campaign finance information, and more arguments for or against it, click on the link below. And make sure to check back with us for more nonpartisan, fact based information on America's politics and elections. I'm Mish. Thanks for watching.